Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're only human. Our perception is flawed, especially when it comes to song lyrics. So we're gonna look at a few of the most well-known cases of misheard lyrics. And for the first time ever, we are going to use science to see what these singers are actually saying. Does our hearing actually suck? Or do these singers just need to work on their pronunciation? Well, we're gonna find out today. So how do we take this song, for example? Celine Dion. I believe the heart <laughs> you know, I never used to think it sounded like she was saying hot dogs, but once you hear it, you can never unhear it. The heart dogs go Was she really talking about hot dogs? Well, we're gonna use science to find out. Let's give it the t -t -s test or the text to speech test. I believe that the hot dogs go. Oh, what the hawk a go? -oh. Remember how I said that computers were not flawed? Hello. Oh, what the hawk a go? All right. Next up, we got Alicia Keys. What? Yep, yeah, she's definitely saying wet dream tomato. A, a wet dream tomato is a lot like a regular dream tomato, but you gotta change your pants after. New York! Concrete jungle, wet dream tomato! Alright, test. Concrete jungle, wet dream tomato! Zero, zero. What, do you think Alicia Keys is gent now? <laughs> well, we thought she was saying wet dream tomato. She was actually just saying boom, boom, boom. Now, some songs just have such messed up lyrics to begin with that they're just ripe for misheard lyrics. Take, for example, this little song by Nirvana. Yeah. Now, this is just one of the millions of different variations of what people hear. I mean, some other common ones are, I'm a liar, I'm on fire, a potato, how I feel, yeah. But let's do the tips test. We will finally find out what he's actually saying. Here we are now, entertainers, I'm a liar. Mosquito, Who? After all these years, we thought he was singing all these things, and it turns out he was just saying, Who? <laughs> this thing is so inaccurate. Now, we have an issue that we need to address. This video is gonna get copyright claimed, which is f So basically, I'm gonna be making no money on ad revenue. But that's when NordVPN came to save the day. And not only are they helping me by sponsoring this video, but they've also helped me in a lot of other ways. I have a little secret to tell you. I watch Supermarket Sweep on Netflix. Walter Farms Turkey. Supermarket Sweep isn't available on Netflix Canada. But thanks to NordVPN, I'm not in Canada. Wink, wink. Because if I open NordVPN and click on this sexy little American server, as far as the internet can tell, I'm from the US. Take a look at this. For real though, it's like tricking the internet. But NordVPN has over 5,500 super fast servers in 60 different countries. So basically this way you can access Netflix sites from all over the world. But the other huge benefit from NordVPN is that your network is private. NordVPN encrypts your personal information such as your IP address, your credit card number, passwords, anything you'd want to keep hidden. So this way internet burgles are not going to get you because you're in Hong Kong. 
So if you want to join the world's most trusted VPN, you can download NordVPN using, using my link in the description and use promo code TerryBerry and you will get 70% off three years with NordVPN plus a free month. All right, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to the UK. All right, we got Bon Jovi living on a prayer. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. John Bon Jovi, you disgust me. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. I beg to differ, John Bon Jovi. Whether you're naked or not makes a huge difference. I'm not allowed at Walmart anymore. Uh, we'll give him the tits test. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. It doesn't make a difference if I make it or not. It doesn't make a difference if I make it or not. That was the closest we've got yet. Finally, it has proven that John Bon Jovi did not say it doesn't make a difference if we're naked or not. All right, so we got Little Nas X, Old Town Road. I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. What? Okay, that very clearly was Old Town Road. I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. Hotel Rome? Do you people really think he's saying hotel room? Hotel owners might take issue with that. Hello, yes, I'd like to reserve a room, preferably top floor, one adult, one horse. Oh, and Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy, Billy, Billy. I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. Take my horse to the Old Town Road. Well, it said whole town instead of old town, but close enough. Now this next song, I've wondered for years how they were able to get away with such vulgarity on the radio. They paid paradise and put up a fucking lie. For years I've been hearing this song and I still hear f***ing. They paid paradise and put up a fucking lie. Okay, okay. Paved paradise to put up a parking lot. That is such a cover up. No, what they've done here is they've found a brilliant way of dropping the F-bomb on the radio and getting away with it. My computer just froze. Ah, oh, but our hearing is flawed. So the t -t -t test. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. F you. Told you they were dropping the F-bomb. All these years I thought they were singing Paradise to put up a f***ing line. And they were actually just saying F*** you. <laughs> right, this next one pisses me off just a bit. Yeah, yeah. You know how at the end of every April you see those memes? It's gonna be May. <laughs> it's gonna be May. It's gonna be May. And I think the other problem is when singers sing, they pronunciate words differently than if they were talking. Cause it would be kind of weird if he was like, it's gonna be me. That's why it's gonna be me. You kind of pronounce it more like me instead of me, 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 me. But let's give it the t -t -t test. Recording. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Well, there you go, folks. Science has proven he's actually saying it's gonna be me. So I guess you can go ahead and share those memes. No, don't. This next one is Charlie Puth. Charlie Puth. Charlie Puth. Charlie Puth. With his song, Attention. You've been running around, running around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. <laughs> what the fuck? You've been running around, running around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. Okay, he actually said turtle. That he said turtle. Throwing that turtle on my knee. <laughs> Throwing turtles at other people's knee is just is so freaking ignorant. Stop throwing that turtle on my knee. Turtle. Gotta work on your pronunciation there, Charlie. P Throwing that turtle on my knee. Throwing that turtle on my name. Oh wait, throwing that turtle on my name. Okay, well, at least it got the turtle part. So, uh, Charlie P, you need to work on your pronunciation. Turtle man. Turtle. All right, now this next one is one of the most famous misheard lyrics of all time from our friend Elton John. I'm close, I'm trying to dance. Trying to dance. 
It really does sound like he's saying Danza. All right, I'm really curious to see what the test is gonna prove this time. On the closer time to dance. Hi, Jana Dad. What the hell is a Jana Dad? Hi, Jana Dad. Hi, Jana Dad. I did not know those were the actual lyrics. Thank you, translator. Thank you. But that's not the only Elton John with missing. Okay, is Elton John really bad at pronouncing words or something? She's got electric boots. I'm all happy. Straight up, that sounds like boob. 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 Boobs. 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 All right, y'all, yeah, I'll start being mature now. Boobs. Now, I can honestly say that for my entire life, I thought he was saying electric boobs. Electric boobs. Ah, you hear what you want to hear. But my life was destroyed when I found out the actual lyrics are she's got electric, electric boots, boots, a I'm mohair suit. I wanted her to have electric boobs. All right, let's give it the electric t t test. She's got electric boots. I'm gonna have food. Electric boots, I'm not have food. <laughs> <laughs> kind of disappointed it didn't get electric boobs, but I'm not have food. Please, I'm not have food. Subscribe, three mil sub club. Subscribe, three mil sub club. She got it right! Okay, now you have to subscribe. Oh, Sam Smith. I guess when he's not getting sued by Tom Petty, he's busy mispronunciating words? Let's listen. Set my bed made Sarah free. What the fuck? Set my bed made Sarah free. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I'm gonna have to pass on that though, Sam. Thank you. I would love to suck your milk, but you've got electric boobs. <laughs> And, and I prefer my milk sour. Okay, what are the actual lyrics? I'm looking it up. Set my midnight sorrow free, is that the part? Okay, no, no, bud. That is suck my milk, made sour free, 100%. And I'm gonna prove it. Who drives a dirt bike at frickin' 1.30 at night? Suck my sour free milk, bitch! Suck my milk made sour free. Number of nights at Freddy. I believe it was five nights. Suck my milk made sour free. Yo, let's just go with suck my milk. All right, now this next one is the most famous misheard lyric of all time. Jimi Hendrix is the OG of misheard lyrics. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. That 100% is kiss this guy, like come on. He couldn't have pronounced it more like kiss, kiss this guy. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. All right, tint test test. Lay your bets now. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Stupid kiss this guy. He did say kiss this guy. Science. Oh, except it's stupid. Kiss this guy. Well, I'm glad we were able to settle that one for history. Wow, that was so much fun and we didn't really learn much. <laughs> Except that translators kinda are not as accurate as I hoped. But if you have any of your own misheard lyrics or if you have your own interpretation of any of the ones we looked at, comment them below and start an argument. And I will see you sexy sandwiches next time, subscribe.